Hey everyone, Foodie Hero here, and welcome to today's latest mix up build, to where today's build is one that focuses on using the Basil Buster commands and creating a high explosive and quick damage in dealing build that combines standard attacks, shelling, and triggering the inner explosive status for a very large amount of damage within a short period that you produce it in. So, this is a standard explosive set that can offer you quick and high damage once you get the right pacing going. And once you do get the right flow for the set, you'll be able to pull off fast attacks that leave little room for the monsters to counter back, but plenty of room for you to follow through and keep attacking the monsters until they are slayed. It's one build I generally use for taking on either higher end content or something just to mess around with. And personally, I find it quite great to use against Temple Devil Joe, as Temple Devil Joe is the type of monster that you can't be too aggressive with, but sometimes you're going to need something that can provide you with offense and defense. And going with the Lance, or better off the Gun Lance, is one of the sets that can help me with defeating Tempered Dojo without dying or fainting or taking so much damage at all. Now as the set does focus on using an explosive status effect for large damage when triggered, it's not the only area to where damage will be coming from. Your normal thrust or slam attacks can will do high damage when timing is right. And your shelling option, which is a wide shelling level 3, will net you around 50 plus damage every time you use this. But this does vary on sharpness levels as it can decrease over time if your sharpness reaches say around orange or even yellow sharpness. This whole build can offer pretty much quick and relentless damage when needed like you currently see in the video to where I'm doing standard thrust attacks, then shelling and so forth. And every now and then I use the women's state to up the ante with it. This is generally what you can do as well as it works perfectly for lowering down monster's health. Our shelling isn't affected by any hidden parameters so it will always do full damage no matter what. You also have to remember that you burn through shotguns very quickly if you don't land your hits, so at times you're going to be in a situation where you can't use your standard lance attack, as you may be at yellow sharpness, but you can still use shelling, which is always an option. But in this case, I'll show you what I currently have, and some of the things that can be changed up to make the build more effective for you, and generally some of the things that I found effective for me when I was using and testing the build out. So the current skills I went for are ones that focus on increasing the shelling damage, increasing the basal buster status affliction, and of course, doing as much damage as possible. But at the same time, I want a few survival skills like medicine and handicraft to help allow me to stay longer in fights and increase my survivability. But of course, you can change it to whatever you feel will be more beneficial for your skills. At the same time, like always, I chose to go with the Basil Buster Gun Lance with a health and affinity augmentation, as it's quite an underrated weapon that I don't see a lot of people talk about or genuinely use for reasons unknown. But it's a great explosive weapon if you want to focus on a pure explosive build, which my build does offer slightly. So with that, I genuinely went with the following skills to make the build work overall. Blast attack 3 max, so I can increase the amount of blast hit as I build up over time, which is one of the main things I'm going to be proccing most of the time while I'm in fights. Weakness exploit 3, so I do more damage every time I hit weak point and do lance hits. Artillery 3, so my wide shelling and wither blast do more damage when activated. This usually nets me around 50 plus if I use just shelling, which works great for doing poke shelling method. And the Women Blast, if it hits, can land me around 100 to 120 damage times 3, so an overall damage of around 300 plus. Capacity boost is also needed, as without it, you only have 2 shells to use, which means your combo will be a lot more shorter, and so will the missing damage. If you are unlucky and you can't get one, then alternatively, you could go with the Heavy Metal Waste, which gives you that skill for free, and then you just need to sacrifice a level 1 slot to replace your missing blast attack skill. Next up, we have the Guard 3 and Guard Up. These two skills are needed so I can block normal attacks and at the same time allow me to block unblockable attacks which come in handy when facing Elder Dragons or Tempered Devil Joe attacks. However, it's very limited at times when using this as sometimes with enough damage done you'll never need to activate it. And this mainly goes for guard up. So if you have the jewel, I recommend you replace it with a polished jewel, where instead you could do more shelling and lance attack without worrying about running out of sharpness. Alternatively, you could use a Veil Extended Jewel to allow you to dodge and move around faster when using your Gun Lance, but this honestly might not be worthwhile for you, as generally, I've noticed that you need at least a level 2 version to see the major difference. Whatever you go with, it's going to be a free slot either way. Handicraft 2 is very well needed as well, as for this weapon, it burns through sharpness very quickly. Considering my attack pattern is always poke shell, poke shell, proc explosive, and then if the monster falls down, use my weapon blast. And within those few seconds, I can hit around yellow sharpness very, very fast, which can be a major problem depending on the monster I'm facing. So you can either do what I do and use speed sharpness level 3 to help negate yellow sharpness from happening, or 
you can use this combination that honestly I recommend you use as it's a bit more flexible and more better if you have the jewel. Use a wet fish plus and protective polish to allow you to stay longer in fights without sharpening. But this means you sacrifice a guard up jewel. So remember, the main downside to this is that yes, you'll be able to stay in longer in fights and generally take on, I say, basic monsters such as Oda Garon, Raytheon, and Rathalos. But if you were going to go up against, say, for example, you know, Giante, Chiostra, or Kushala, who have major attacks that can potentially one shot you, you're at risk of being killed easily if you don't have to guard up Jewel. And then lastly, we have the recovery up level 1, which is just there to help with recovering more health while attacking. But this is something that you can genuinely change out for something else, like more health or faster health recovery. It's, it's just genuinely there to help me out in many ways. Overall, this set will give you 495 attack, blast element pushed up to 260, and defense to 421. But I made sure to augment my defenses to be this high so I can take on Temmin monsters, which hit more harder and basically allows me to not rely on healing so much. Although my weapon will allow me to heal most of the time when I attack, I don't really want to be getting into the things, attacking a monster, getting hit here and there, and then put my shield away just to heal every now and then. I kind of want to tank as much damage as I can while I'm procking the healing aspect of my weapon to always stay in the fight and be pretty much aggressive. So when it comes down to fighting style, it's generally pretty simple as you will be detonating explosive, shelling and do normal thrust attacks all in one combo and as you have seen in the video this is practically what I do but more aggressive on the playstyle. I found out with this set I could speed run through monsters relatively easily as the damage is pretty great for a weapon that isn't that commonly used by many. Of course if I wanted more damage overall I could have switched to the Royal Burst which has a wide level 4 so better damage and more war damage plus affinity than the Basil Buster can offer. However, reasons being I never went for that weapon is because of the explosive element that the Basil Buster has, which makes the set more practical for what I was aiming for. And I feel like I've achieved that as the build can stand up to whatever is thrown at me, while allowing me to be aggressive and high damaging to monsters, and leaving them open to cause ridiculous amount of damage when the moment is right. One thing to say though is that I could definitely make this build a bit more effective in terms of shelling and explosive damage by going with the Xeno set pieces that allow me to negate my weapon's sharpness when activated, as this would allow my damage to stay consistent and not re- One thing to say though about this build is that I could have definitely made this build a bit more effective in terms of shelling and explosive damage by going all the way with using the Xeno set pieces that allow me to negate my weapon's sharpness when activated, as generally this would allow me to do more damage consistently and not revolve around sharpening all the time. But I noticed that by doing that I'll be missing out on certain slot levels which overall could result in less damage and pretty much overall change up the whole entirety of the build, which in many cases might be better in one case, but in another case it might be much more terrible. But this is something I will be testing out in the future to see how well it truly pans out, as I know the Xeno set pieces are generally top tier for anything you use. So in the near future I'm probably going to test this piece out, see how effectively well it works with a certain gun lance, anything could be viable, and if I find something great, then sure, I'll upload it. If not, then I'll probably just keep it to myself and just mess around with it a bit more until I get something a bit more viable and noteworthy to go ahead and use. But overall, I can say that this build is pretty damn great. I've been using this set for quite a bit and I can genuinely tell you that if you want something that can speedrun relatively quickly with building up explosive and shelling and with the stake and fire and if you're someone that just enjoys explosions and you just enjoy doing tons of damage within one go, then I say go for this build here. This build offers you everything. Some of the skills here are genuinely things you can get easily. Although some of the alternatives, like the Sharp Jewel, which is not easy to get, can be replaced with something else. But if you're looking for something that can do a ton of damage and something that will fill in the gap for you wanting more damage but you don't want to be too reliable on this one build, then this here is genuinely for you. If you don't like it, then of course you can always go ahead and try something else, maybe meta worthy. But if you're someone that wants something new and different, this is something to go definitely worthwhile for. And that comes to the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then a like and a sub would be appreciated. Do comment if there's anything you're confused with or would genuinely change, and I'll try my best to help you out. But once again, thank you for watching, and I do definitely hope to see you again soon.